Hey guys, I want y'all to briefly turn with me. Turn with me, if you will, to the book of Shirley. Shirley chapter four. Are y'all there? Shirley chapter four. Let me see. Wait a minute. Hmm, I can't find a book of Shirley. Hmm. How about the, the epistles of Ken? The second book of Ken chapter five. Hmm. The Epistles of Doris. Let's stop you there. Psalm of the Cleveland Elders. Is that there? No. None of those books are there. We don't own the word. <laughs> none of us have a patent on the word of God. Okay? Stop making the word what you want to make it. Stop following what people are telling you and not studying this word for yourself. Stop listening to what Sister Shirley told you and, and Miss Doris told you and, and the Cleveland elders told you. You need to know God for yourself. There are so many people that are walking around like they wrote these books, that they wrote every book in this Bible. A lot of them act like they were there when Jesus first spoke to Moses. When I'm here God to tell you spoke something. to Moses. And a lot of people, they act like they have ownership and patent because of their age and how long they were saved before this person. My brothers and sisters, there's no hierarchy and there is no rank structure in the Bible. Body of Christ okay of course we're supposed to we're supposed to obey and, and, and respect we're supposed to respect our elders right but you find people based on their age and their habits and their tradition they're trying to hold you back they're people that they're trying to tell you other things that this Bible does not say each and every one of us has our own responsibility to know God for ourselves. Stop trying to put patent and ownerships on the word of God. That's why I think it's a very dangerous thing to get a Bible and put your name in it and on it. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care what your intentions are. When you, when you are bold enough to put, to put your name on a Bible, guys, it's a very dangerous thing. When do we get that bold? When do you get that bold? Be careful. I just had to throw that out there because what a lot of people are doing is trying to take the word of God and making it their own. And you find a lot of times when they're making the word their own, they're not following after what the word says. It's one thing to be following the word of God, but you find sometimes these individuals are taking the word and they're twisting it to make it fit the sin that they want to live in, the sinful ways that they want to live, the, the, the way that they want to usurp authority over people. They're trying to use the word of God to use it as a way to tell people why they need to be serving man more than God, even though they will never say that. They will try to tell you, you're going to know God through me. You got to bless me in order for God to bless you. The last time I checked, God God is not anybody's right hand man. He is not top flight security. He is not Florence from the Jeffersons. He is not Benson for hire. Okay. So therefore he is not a lamp. He's not a genie in a lamp. The way, the way the heavens is higher than the earth. So his way is higher than ours and his thoughts higher than our own. So we need to come to this word in a, in a, in a, with a, with a mindset, having humility in spirit. 
and be willing to learn from God. You need to stop following what people are telling you. Stop following individuals that are saying this is the way that it is. People are writing their own laws. And what they're doing is they're going in the Bible and they're taking little pieces out of the Bible and take something that says one thing and then they'll, they're going to come up with something else. Listen, I'm looking right now at Chronicles chapter 14 and it says 13. Chronicles chapter 14 and 13. This is what people do. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Well, let me tell you what this means. When the Philistine, the Philistines are spreading themselves, what it means that they are, you know, spreading, you know, they, they're spreading. Uh, they, it's okay to, to have pride. It's okay to, to, to exert yourself, you know, in abroad and, and in any way that you want, you know, from the highest to the lowest, people will find what they want to do to, to, they will find whatever they want to find guys to say, you know, if the Philistines were able to spread themselves, you know, in pride and in from the high to the lowest, then we as the children of God, we can spread ourselves. We can walk in pride from the highest to the lowest. And now guys, that may not be the best, the best, um, the best, um, example as lame as that example was but believe it these type of lame interpretations are being accepted and praised by people that want to live however they want to live Th that so that will be just some random person taking what they want to take out of the word of God and to make it their own. And so many times you find people that feel like they own God and God is just this, this, the help he's come to help. He's, he's the nanny and he's the cook and he's come to cut the grass of your life. But I'm here to tell you this word written by men of old who followed after God, men who were son of son asunder, men who were beheaded and killed by the sword. These, are the ones that were beaten and flogged and and cast away for this gospel they wrote these books they went through things they were in caves they were being tormented all this stuff here is their story and so you find these new and improved and shiny shoes believers that's coming in here and think that they can just say and approach the word of god in your way without reverence they are because the lord says boldly come to my throne they're coming without reverence Okay, and so they feel like they they own the word. They own the word of God. And so that's why I gave you that little funny thing in the beginning, because you'll find people that will be trying to make the word what they want to make it. And because of their position and how old they are and how long they've been in ministry and how many campuses they have and, you know, whatever it may be and that they introduce you to the Lord and they have been doing this for a long time or whatever it may be everybody's got to follow they feel they can twist the word in your way none of us has ownership of the word of god none of us has written a book in this bible stay humble stay obedient keep your eyes on jesus and nobody else no matter who they are Keep your eyes stayed on Jesus.